Back out here at the Good Earth Garden Center, this time we're in the back end talking about crepe myrtles. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different things that you have to kind of check off the list. Where you want these uh, to be planted in your yard. Mm -hmm. Also, maintenance is important mm -hmm. too, and proper maintenance as well. So, talk a little bit more about all those things. Let's start with what you said first. Where are you going to put it in the yard? Uh, I think where crepe myrtles get a bad rap is mm -hmm. people go, I'm going to put it this close to my house. Right. And then they pick out a variety that grows 30 or 40 foot tall. Okay. So, hey, there's varieties, literally, they're, they're true dwarfs that are 18 inches to two foot. Then they'll be up to six to eight foot, then eight to 15 foot, then 15 foot and above. So, you got to decide where you're going to put it in the yard first, okay. if that's the most important thing to you. If color is the most important thing to you, really now, late June, all the way through July is the best time to come out and pick because you can actually see the colors. Right now, all we have is whites blooming. But you might say, I want a pink one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick out a pink that I think's pink, and you're going to go, that's salmon. So that's a big deal, too. Right. So it's always good to pick them out if you want colors to come late in the season. Okay. If it's more about size, then we can show you the different varieties, again, starting at the 18 inches all the way up to 20, 25 foot. Okay. Other than that, you can see what happened here with this guy. Mm -hmm. These are called suckers. So you just you can literally just come in and do this to them or a lot of times prune them off. But okay. you want to do that to keep the trunk nice and clean. Now, this is one that was here through the winter. So what happened was it stressed out with all the cold we had. Yep. So it's throwing out suckers on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Most time you don't see that unless they do the crepe murder, which we always talk about in January, February, where they just take off the top. Take off the top. Normally, that's the only time you'll see this happen. Okay. But with crepe myrtles, again, to me, it's considered an Arkansas weed. Mm -hmm. It can grow just about anywhere as long as there's full sun, semi-wet conditions to dry conditions. You just want to put a little jump start around it when you plant. Okay. And then the last thing that we use, the bedding plant food, I put some of that in there as well because it has a high middle number and help it out for next year. Absolutely. So make sure location is important there. Yep. Also, if the color is important, there are a couple of factors with that as well to make sure that you're putting it in the right spot and maintaining it too. Those suckers, make sure to get those cleaned off of there as well. All right, we're going to send it back to you guys, but we've got another one coming up.